our next competitor, number 270. The title of the program, Debate Like a Girl. On an island of music. In a city of drum beats, the drum dream girl dreamed of pounding tall conga drums, tapping small bongo drums, and boom, boom, booming with long, loud sticks. Welcome to the second presidential debate. Secretary Clinton, knowing that educators assign viewing the debates as homework, do you feel you're modeling appropriate behavior for today's youth? Well, thank you. I think that's a very good question, B. Run. Because, thank you, Secretary Clinton, you're out of time. Being a female debater, I get interrupted all the time. Male debaters are often encouraged to talk louder when someone interrupts them. But females are taught to say things like, Um, excuse me, may I finish my point? <laughs> As a man, you can be almost as aggressive as you want, but, well, women walk a fine line when they choose to go on the offensive. Sexism in debate manifests itself in many ways. It is often difficult to know where to begin. Over the last decade, the number of women participating at the Tournament of Champions has decreased. The ratio of men to women at the National Debate Tournament and Tournament of Champions is four to one. This is not meant to imply that all women have the same experiences in debate. Rather, our goal is to let this manual serve as a starting point for future discussions. Recognizing how sexism exists in our community, but everyone on the island of music, in the city of drum beats, believed that only boys should play drums. In a 2013 study entitled Men Outspeak Women, analyzing the gender gap in competitive debate, Dr. Emma Pearson analyzed over 35,000 speaker scores to conclude a significant statistical disparity between the success of males and females in debate rounds. Overwhelmingly, it becomes clear that speaking while female has considerable disadvantages, not only in terms of competitive success, but also with higher rates of interruption and a general lack of respect for speech. As a society, our expectations for females in public speaking put women in a double bind, either conform to societal expectations of submission and lose credibility, or demonstrate intensity and be labeled too aggressive. This unwinnable bias is so deeply ingrained in our culture that we have often become blind to its consequences, reflected in countless reports of harassment toward young female debaters. I love speech and debate, and this activity thrives on calling out oppressions all over the world. But it's time to call out the ones in our own community. So, 
Through the Pros, Women in Debate, a Best Practices Manual by the Women's Debate Institute, and Gender Disparities in Competitive High School Debate by Daniel Tartakovsky, the poetry Drum Dream Girl by Margarita Engel, and articles from the Huffington Post, The Politic, The New York Times, The Washington Post, Women's E! News, The Student Press Law Center, and The Des Moines Register. Debate like a girl, a program, because the speech and debate community should amplify voices, not silence them. And that's a 3-0 decision. <laughs> Are my judges ready? <laughs> is one of the most popular debate styles in the United States. <laughs> Despite these developments, evidence suggests the existence of a serious gender gap in the debate community. Male debaters are more likely than female debaters to persist in the activity, and all is being equal, they will accumulate more experience and perform better. Uh, make sure you're not overly aggressive. Flats, no heels, did not seem presidential. Since we haven't had a female president, it's tough to hear something on a ballot as vague as the perception of being presidential. Because, well, presidential as a concept has only ever come to us in the form of a man. All right, next question. Secretary Clinton, do you believe you can be a devoted president to all the people of the United States? First and foremost, I will do everything I can no to no reach wrong. <laughs> Why don't you interrupt her? You interrupt me all the time. So the drum dream girl had to keep dreaming, quiet, secret, Drumbeat dreams at outdoor cafes that looked like gardens. She heard drums played by men. But when she closed her eyes, she could hear her own imaginary music. <gasps> women are less likely than men to win debate rounds, and men are 12 percentage points more likely to win an elimination round than women. These findings are significant. Gaining a more nuanced understanding of why men enjoy more competitive success than women would help the community minimize the likelihood that women are denied opportunities and treated unfairly. Uh, monitor your emotions in response to your opponent. Skirt, too short doesn't smile enough, needs to stop shouting. The other female high school debaters I know have been belittled, told to smile more, and often get more in-depth criticism of their hem length than their argumentation. Ugh. Last year, male debaters in the area had this running joke that my friend was secretly a man theorizing that she wrapped a penis around her leg. We, as a society, have created certain norms, such as what types of voices, styles, and mannerisms we think embody persuasiveness. Unfortunately, this ideal debater image tends to be the opposite of a large amount of perceived female qualities, like higher voices and less aggression at home. Her fingertips rolled out their own dreamy drum rhythm on tables and chairs. And even though everyone kept reminding her that girls have never played drums, the brave drum dream girl dared to play. So she practiced. I hate that I don't have the full freedom to fight the patriarchy in the way I want to because it's a competitive activity. I'm in the room to get that ballot. So I just keep going. Naggy, shrill, and bitchy. There should be public speaking courses for women because they're handicapped, literally handicapped. And she practiced in 2015. A male debater and a female competitor from another school prepared to debate against each other in the tournament. The Blue Valley student messaged the female that if she sent him nude photos of herself, he would concede the debate round as if he were saying, I'd rather see your nude 
good than win the round and debate you as an equal. After the female competitor reported the male student, he was barred from only one debate tournament and then went on to become an assistant coach of the debate team if a female speaker cannot manage to overcome the built-in disadvantages of her gender. That's her problem and her failing. And she practiced, I have been called a dyke, voted down for being too passionate about feminism and told that my narrative about my past was made up. It is not fair that judges resent judging me from the start. Women in debate face sexist jokes, getting hit on, cyberbullying, being talked down to, stereotypes, exclusion, and comments about their bodies that I cannot control. I cannot control, I cannot control, and she practiced, and she practiced, and she practiced. could have won if she spread her legs. <laughs> Why are we treated unfairly in an activity meant to empower everyone. Women deserve tournament and team experiences equal in quality to men. My goal is to raise awareness of these challenges so that women's voices, as well as men's, are heard loud and clear. If we assure that we listen right here, we can make a difference for women whose voices are truly suppressed. The world will be better. So, the drum dream girl closed her eyes and kept on drumming.